I came to Ottawa looking for a job, just accidentally, after searching for a few days, I got pushed into a doorway and with a long flight of stairs, and I went up those stairs, and at the top was the Conservative Party headquarters. I was running in Kingston and the islands, but that was Sir John Acey. So, you know, it, I remember my uh, slogan was from McDonald to McDonald. I uh, worked with women and congratulated women and tried to be involved with them. But I have always thought that one must not distinguish and try to make two groups of people, one male and one female, and that's it. Mm. You know, I, I just don't like that sort of thing. To find out more about it. Huh. I mean, I had read about it, I would heard about it, and I wanted to see what it was like. Huh. I mean, the, there's no end to my curiosity. <laughs> The first thing I had to do was to make sure that we broke this barrier where women were ruled out of everything, or at least they were second-class citizens. Mm. Here was I, a woman, yeah. <laughs> trying to change this. Yeah. Well, uh, one of the things that I would say to women and to men as well, learn how to speak properly. I mean, is people getting up and rambling on without anybody being able to really discern what they're saying? I mean, to me, I would always prepare for asking a question as much as I would prepare for the answers that I would give if I were a minister. Mm. I mean, you have to be able to tell all the people out there on television what it is you're trying to find out, because it will resonate with them or it will not. And unless you can do that, you, you're, you're not winning the battle in Parliament. I don't think that you ever create an idea of yourself as being different from other people in Parliament or in the party or whatever, you're there listening to the people down the street. And if you think that you're, you're really there to try and get in touch with the captains of industry in Toronto, forget it. You know, they're no more important or perhaps not as important as that person down the street.